So today is Back to Hogwarts Day! Ravenclaw! Ravenclaw! 10 points to Ravenclaw. <laughs> So anyways, I am going to a Back to Hogwarts party that my best friend Zanny is throwing today and I decided that I should bake something. Today we are going to be making some cauldron cakes. So I did find a few recipes for cauldron cakes before. I am completely deviating from all of them. <laughs> no. I am going to try to make my own cauldron cakes and We'll see how it goes. As a Ravenclaw, I am very good at just following directions and, you know, following recipes. Today I'm being a little Gryffindory and uh, going against the rules. So we are going to be using, I'm sorry if it's backwards because this is in selfie mode. I'm using Ghirardelli dark chocolate cake mix because what we're going to do is we're actually going to make um, cupcakes. So. Mm. Gizzards. Okay, we're just gonna go like this. Oh god, don't spill it. Okay, pour that in the bowl. Wait, no, that's not what the directions say. It says first preheat the oven, which I did, and we are going to mix the eggs in water. Oh, this is off to a disastrous start. Please don't take points from my house for being kind of dumb. All right. that is frothy. We are going to add the cake mix and gently stir it in. After we do that, then we're going to put it in some muffin um, tins. I need a spoon. Found it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to mix it in. Okay. We, oh! That would have been smart. Good. We are done with that. I have a this super cool silicone muffin tin that pops things out like that. So we're gonna scoop these into this muffin tin. My hair toss, checking nails. Baby, how you feeling? Feeling good as hell. Okay, now that these are in their pit, their little houses. Now we are going to put this in the oven. Since it is a silicone mode, I do recommend having a baking sheet underneath because I have definitely made the mistake of making weird shapes. So we're going to just take one of the cookie sheets and lift this guy, put it on top, bada bam. And now we're going to put it in the oven per the directions. We're going to let this bake. In the meantime, I was also planning on doing a filling. Okay, so now the muffins, no, unhealthy muffins. The cupcakes are in the oven. <laughs> okay, now we are going to take some uh, pudding. So this is a really easy, simple, cheap way of doing it. Okay, now we're just gonna make some mix. So this one's really easy because you just, just literally have to add milk and then whisk it. And then I'm also going to be whipping up some whipping cream and adding that and some caramel because I think with that, it should make it a little fluffier and kind of a nice filling. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing things. I have my stand mixer here. I put maybe like a quarter of a cup of sugar. I'm just kind of guesstimating because I'm Filipino and we never measure. So then I have some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna put in the stand mixer. Hopefully that'll be enough. We'll see. Usually when I make whipped cream it like never, oh you know what would help? If this sucker's plugged in. Let's do that. Wink. There we go. Nice. Now, we are going to lock this because that would be a mistake. And we're just going to whip it real good. 
I mixed the pudding for about two minutes and now you see it's nice and thick. The pudding has set. We're going to fold in some whipped, some homemade whipped cream into this. This is vanilla flavored so that way I can add some caramel sauce into it and hopefully it'll taste Mm, pr probably not quite butterscotchy, but at least caramelly, so it would give it a little bit more flavor. On the whipping cream, and that is looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and make sure it's in the unlocked position. Oh yes, that is what we like. Usually I make the mistake of under doing it, so I'm very happy with this. All right, we're checking back in. Let's see how we're looking. We have that. Let's do a toothpick test real fast. We'll do this one. Oh yeah, that's a winner. That looks good. Let's see this one. I think I keep dipping in chocolate in that one. All right, I think that is good. Okay, so while the cupcakes are cooling, um, I'm going to attempt to make a filling see how this goes. So I have here my vanilla pudding. I let it set in the fridge for a little bit because I was cooking and baking. So I have the pudding and I have my homemade whipped cream with a little bit of vanilla flavor. And I also have some, I also have some Ghirardelli caramel sauce. So do you pronounce it caramel? or caramel. So I'm going to test this theory out, see if it works. I'm just gonna take uh, about half a cup of the pudding, because we're really not gonna use that much filling, so I can sacrifice half a cup. And then we're just gonna, let's see, how are we gonna do this? I think we'll just spoon some of the whipped cream. Bloop. And that should be good. And then we're gonna just cover it in sauce. Yes. Now let's fold this all in together. And let's see how this goes. And then we'll, we'll give it a little taste test to see if this works. I'll do little batches at a time to try to keep it consistent but we'll see. Luckily, this is just a party for friends, and my friends are nice, and they won't judge too hard. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna give a little taste here. I got a clean spoon, and... Oh! Oh, that's actually really good! Mmm! Okay! Well, I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to grab some chocolates. Okay, so I have the cupcakes cooling, I have the filling chilling in the fridge, and now what I'm going to attempt to do, <laughs> we'll see how this works, is I want to make little handles that go on the, the top to make it kind of look like a little cauldron, you know? Because cauldrons, typically a witch would hang it above their fireplace, right? When they're, when they're mixing their brews and potions and cooking children, you know, typical witch things. So what we're going to do is I set up a double boiler. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of MacGyvering around my kitchen right now, so we'll see how this works. Basically, I am uh, conserving my energies and my supplies. I actually just made spaghetti. <laughs> so this is the remainder of the water. It's already heated up. I'm going to take this bowl, let's empty that out, there we go, and I just put it on there and then it acts like a double boiler. So I'll just pour in some, let's see, yeah. We're just gonna pour in some chocolate chips that I had left over from chocolate chip cookies I made. Pour, eh, whatever, let's just mix it all in. And we're going to melt these chips and then we're going to, um, I, I don't know yet, we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> okay, so I've melted the chocolates. I have put it in a little zippy bag, and you know, this kinda looks like poop. It's like that dangerous game moms play, is this poop or chocolate thing. So I'm going to cut off the tip here, and I'm going to pipe some handles. <laughs> so this was an epic fail. Um, 
I tried squeezing it out of the thing, but it came out really thick and it really looks like poop. So we are not going to use that. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pop these guys out. Oh yeah. And we're actually going to flip it upside down because these are going to be the cauldrons. And we're just going to take a spoon and we're going to spoon out a little, um, kind of like making it a little bowl almost. So what I do is I make a little shape like this, like a circle. And then I just scoop it out into a bowl. You don't have to scoop out all the way. I went about, I don't know, maybe two thirds of the way. So I have a hole and then we're gonna put the stuffing inside here. Okay, so here are my finished cauldron cakes. Unfortunately, my phone ran out of both battery and memory by the time I got to filling them. So basically, let me give you the lowdown. With the filling that we made earlier, I had scooped out the insides of these cupcakes from the bottom, filled them with the uh, caramel filling that we made, and then I topped them with chocolate chips and pumpkin spice. And now they taste like Halloween and Hogwarts and the Great Hall and Christmas and Halloween and a troll in the dungeon! All in one. Enjoy! Nine and three quarters. Uh, it's green food color. Worms. Okay, I can take it. Or worms. Definitely worms. It's the hair. Oh, Ooh. hair of werewolf? I'm not sure, actually. I hair just found it in the library, and I figured we'd go for What's it. What's it doing in the library? Who knows? Ask hmm. for money. People do weird things in their restricted section. <laughs> 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 All right, this, Wait a minute. we might need to have people drink because it's going to just overflow everywhere. But <laughs> essentially, this will melt. And it'll be delicious. Yummy! Mm. It looks really weird right now. It's no, you know, it's fantastic though. I feel like this kind of looks like what a troll turd would look like. That's <laughs> gross. Troll turd. I want to eat some. <laughs> I eat some troll turds. Gross. Y'all are nasty.
We're done.